Jack Long here from Learn Guitar Tunes. Welcome to the second video in my beginner guitar series here on YouTube. So if you haven't checked out video number one, go and check it out. It's really, really crucial for you to learn. So we're going to crack on with this lesson, the second video, which is essentially like your second lesson on the guitar, right? So what we're going to learn today is, in this, vi in this video, the number system, right? So the number system is really important. The number system works in three different areas. We've got the numbers on your hand, numbers on your frets and the numbers of your strings okay. okay so that's the number system now before we move on to the number system i want to go through the strings first because this is where a lot of people get confused with the strings right so your strings should be tuned in what's called standard tuning okay i'm going to go through the letters first then i'll go through the numbers and i'm going to explain the differences and the reasons why so the letters of your guitar are starting with a thick string which is closest to you E, A, D, G, B, and E again. So you've got two E's if you noticed, a thick E and a thin E. They're both at either ends of where the strings are positioned on the guitar. Now, the best way to remember this, and this is my own little acronym that I use, and I've always used this as a kid, and uh, my buttons just hit my guitar. I always use this as a kid, and it's really easy to remember. Okay, try and follow along with me. Let's get your guitar, pick along each name of the um, of the string. Okay, you ready for this? It is starting with that thick E string closest to us. Every angry dinosaur grunts before eating. Every angry gr dinosaur grunts before eating. E A D G B and E. Okay? Best way of learning your strings. You have to learn your strings in order, like that, with the letters of the strings. Alright? So, your strings will also be known as numbers. So, someone might say to you, oh, play your first string as an open string. Right? So, open, it means open. Nothing is pressed down on the, on the frets. They're completely open notes. The strings are open notes. Right? So if someone said to you, play your first string as an open string, the string that you play is actually the thinner string on your guitar. The little thin E down there. And the thin E is your first string. So a lot of uh, beginner guitarists gets confused because obviously the thicker string is the thickest. And also when you do the letters, it starts with that thick E as the E, A, D, G, B, and so on. So a lot of people then assume that that's your first string, and it isn't. Okay? The first string is the thinner string. And the reason why is because that is our highest pitched string. It's our high E. Okay? Meaning our sixth string is our low E. Right? High, low, high, low. They're both E's. One's higher pitched than the other. And therefore, in music theory, because it's a pitch, that becomes the first string. So, the E is our first, the B is in our second, so we're now working backwards up. The G is our third string, the D is our fourth string, the A is our fifth string, and the thick low E is our sixth string. So there we go. That's our first set of numbers, okay, in the number series. So, moving on in the number system, we're now going to do fingers, right? Again. I kind of give my fingers different names throughout my lessons, so you need to know what I do. So, your first finger is your index finger, second finger is your middle finger, third finger is your ring finger, fourth finger is your pinky, okay? So these are vital to know. Your thumb is, well, your thumb. Your thumb is your thumb. So your thumb is always going to be at the back of the neck, okay? So you're never really going to hear anybody say anything about thumb. But the reason why you need to know about your fingers is someone might say to you, put your first finger on your first fret of your first string. Or they might say, put your first finger on the fifth fret of your fifth string. Okay, which would be the A string or the fifth fret, using my index finger. My index finger is my first finger. Okay. Fifth fret of the fifth string. That's what that means. 
But if we went back to what I just said a minute ago, first finger, first fret, first string, that would then mean, moving on, you'd be placing your finger here because if we keep to our number system, the last batch of numbers you need to remember are your frets. So, here's your nut, and the box here is your first fret, fret number one, okay? And then fret two, fret three, which sometimes your guitar might have a marker on fret three, mine doesn't, but yours might, fret three, fret four, and then the fifth fret, which is another marker, sixth, seventh, another marker, eighth, ninth, another, all the way down to 12th and then onwards, okay? But you want to be really concentrating on your first, say, three or four frets in the beginner stage. Don't read too much about down here. Of course, experiment down there, please do, but at the moment we're just going to be focused on these ones. So we're going to zoom in and if someone says use your first finger on your first fret of your first string, you basically put your index finger here on the first fret of that high E string. And then you pick it, that's it. You play that. Okay? Similar if someone was to say to you, put your third finger on the third fret of the first string. Right? You get your ring finger, you put it on the third fret of that high E string again. Like so. I hope that makes sense. So they're your numbers. Your fingers are numbers. I also call them index, ring, middle, pinky, how I say first, whatever the lesson I'm in. I just change it all the time, but then you'll understand it. Your frets are also in numbers, and your strings. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And don't forget that real crucial, every angle you've done or drugs before eating. Okay? I hope that helps, I hope that makes sense. Really crucial for you to kind of learn about your number system. Tuning it, tuning it, until they both ring and sound similar like mine do. Okay, pretty cool, right? And then, once your A string is completely tuned to the A that it should be, you repeat the process again, but this time you're now pressing down on the fifth fret of the A string, which you're now playing a D note. Pretty clever, right, this guitar stuff? So then what you do is you then play.